What's up, gangsters? So, what if Winnie the Pooh? But horror. That's probably the first thought that ran through the mind of filmmaker Riz Frake Waterfield upon learning that the original Winnie the Pooh children's book entered the public domain. Or perhaps more accurately, what if Winnie the Pooh, but underwhelmingly mediocre and honestly just kind of really bad slasher flick. Because that is more closely accurate to what we ended up getting here. Ah, are you guys as excited as I am? Yeah, um, let's just take a look at Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I went into this movie with very low expectations. I mean, how could I not with ratings that look like this? But still, deep down in my hopeless optimism, I felt like, now how bad could this really be? And during the movie's setup, I was like, Okay, I mean, sure, the animation isn't great, but I thought the admittedly bare minimum premise, which involves Winnie the Pooh and gang wanting to take revenge on Christopher for abandoning them when he goes to college, wasn't all that bad. But then, it's five years later and Christopher found himself a girl who happens to be one of the worst actresses I've seen in a long time. That strong imagination of yours? is what's made you so successful. You don't need to shy away from it. Uh, honestly, like, really, like, without exaggerating, I feel like I could sincerely act better than that. And you know, in a way, they still exist in you. Pooh! Come on, it's them! It's them! Christopher! Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, this is kind of embarrassing, right? So, now we get to the actual quote-unquote story, where we follow Maria, who's dealing with some shit. So in order to clear her head, she's having a little getaway with her girlfriends in the middle of nowhere, but then, oh, 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 which is great. You know, with the horror genre being some 100 years old, filled with countless, overused, tiresome scenarios and tropes, that they managed to write a premise that not a single filmmaker in the history of the art has ever dared to come up with. Uh, so yeah, um, I did pretty quickly realize that this was probably just going to be an actual terrible movie. But still, I figured like, as long as it just doesn't take itself too seriously, I'd still be fun in a, you know, like a bad movie kind of way. Throw in some good gore and, you know, like we might actually have a half decent bad movie here, right? But we don't. This movie takes itself way too seriously. Which is so awkward given the dumb premise we're dealing with here. Sure, that does mean it's pretty brutal and mean-spirited. Showering your victim in the blood of their dead fiancé. <laughs> That is pretty fucked up. So, yeah, at least we have that. It does get pretty gory. Even though the CGI is kind of embarrassing. Also, I do really need to address the elephant in the room here. So, are they supposed to be creatures? Or just men in latex masks? Because <laughs> I really couldn't tell for the life of me throughout the entirety of this movie. I mean, I, I guess, like, I assume they're supposed to be creatures, right? But doesn't this just look exactly like just a big human man wearing a mask? They stand up and walk exactly like humans do. Their heads are, it's, they're so latexy. Like, shouldn't it be more hairy or more like, like skin-like? And, you know, I, I know they're supposed to be like all fictional characters, but still. Also, because they have zero facial expressions. Winnie has this same dumb grin on his face throughout the entire movie. Because it's a mask. You're gonna pay for what you did, you fucking freak. Take his mask off. Oh man, I, I really tried with this movie, but honestly, it's just so bad. It looks boring, it comes with this uninspired horror soundtrack. And the, the writing is just so embarrassing. Early on they decide to put their phones away as to, you know, like, disconnect and be one with nature. And then you're like, ah, oh, well, that's gonna come into play later, right? But it doesn't. 
Nothing is stopping them from just getting their phones back and ask for help. And of course you have this one girl who just literally can't without her phone. You were holding it in portrait. See? It's, it, it's just so bad and dumb. Oh my god, just do something. Why are you just laying there? There's all those. She's, she's the only one they, they brought her in this morning. Go, go help, help her, I'll, I'll be fine. fine. There isn't any time, just go! What is this writing? Who said that? This has been chasing you? You don't understand! What are you t oh. <laughs> And then the movie just ends. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not good. Sure, like, it's entertaining, as in, like, like it's not boring, but that's really just me setting the bar extremely low. It's it's so crazy to me that this movie actually had a rather, like, big release. But, but then again, I, I feel like that's mostly due to the fact that, you know, this movie kind of got caught up in this whole, like, viral marketing due to its dumb premise involving beloved childhood characters. It is actually all a little more complicated with, with the copyrights and trademarks. And that's why, for example, they couldn't have a Tigger, is, is that the name of the character, like the tiger character in, in this movie? Or like um, have Winnie wear his iconic red shirt? As those aspects weren't introduced in this, like the original Winnie the Pooh novel that now entered uh, the public domain. But I feel like this, like the Winnie the Pooh in this movie still kind of looks like the Disney version, right? So I'm not quite sure how that actually works. Then they could have also just gone for this Russian version, if you know it, which Oh, it's so cute. I actually originally found out about that adaptation through this um, drum and bass song. Now that's some good shit. This movie, however, not so much. Also, a um, last thing before I wrap it up. This could have been just any shitty movie like, like it didn't need to be a winnie the pooh movie as it more or less has nothing to do with the original winnie the pooh story oh well so um what did you guys think have you seen it am i being too harsh here please um feel free to let me know in the comments below i would uh, love to hear and then i'll see you guys again in a couple of days for some more hopefully better horrors of 2023 cheers guys have a nice day.